So by taking this hose off here and depressing the dead man, we've established if there's no air coming out of here with the dead man depressed, that is this pilot valve. Now, if, there air is, if the air is escaping from that, we know immediately that it is nothing to do with the dead man and it's nothing to do with the pilot valve. So that's good. We've just established a quick way of finding in a pneumatic system what the problem was. However, if I depress the dead man, there's air coming out of that, I let the dead man go and the air continues, immediately I know there's something wrong with the dead man. So remember that. By taking this hose off here, depressing the dead man, the air escapes from this. That means that there could be something wrong with the dead man. If there's no air at all and I depress the dead man, it's the pilot valve. So one, two, they work in sync. So there you go, we've established that straight away. The one thing to remember is to always check these hoses to make sure they're in good repair. Don't leave them out where they'll get run over or, or um, caught on something. And that's why we take them to the primary blast hose. So now we can replace this particular hose because we've established what the problem may be. Now, if I open the dead man, and for some time we've been alternating the Thompson valve to get grit to come through and nothing's coming through. No grit's coming out. And we've wound the, the Thompson valve knob in and out, in and out, still no grit. There's grit in the pot. We've checked that there's grit in the pot. That's the first thing to do. But we operate the dead man and we've still got no grit. What do I do? What's the easiest way to do? Find out what in this pneumatic system could be the problem. As I mentioned before, first thing is, take this off here. Just hold it out of the way. Compress the dead man or depress the dead man. Air comes out, good. So now I've got signal air, nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with the dead man. Put that hose back on there. Do it up. And you'll see this capillary tube or signal air goes down into the auto air valve and then it goes down to the Thompson valve. So at the bottom of the Thompson valve, what I suggest you do is undo this hose off the Thompson valve. Bring that hose round here, hold onto the hose, depress the dead man and see if there's any signal air. If there's no signal air, but you know there's signal air here, it's the auto air valve. There's something wrong with the auto air valve. However, if there is air coming out of this hose, and we've got no grit coming through, we know that it's the Thompson valve. So there you are. How do I fault find on the pilot valve? Just told you. How do I fault find on an auto air valve? If there's no air coming out the bottom, it's the auto air valve. If there is air coming out the bottom, it's a Thompson valve. So during this process, we'll show you how to repair the Thompson valve in such a manner that it allows grit to come through and your functionality is, re is restored. So remember, it's, it's all in, in sync. This valve actuates that valve, that valve actuates the Thompson valve. One, two, three. Pilot valve, auto air valve, Thompson valve.